Today we're checking out seven knives that shocked me how good they were when I tried them for the first time. Starting it off with the Warblades Anubis. Uh, Warblades has, I think, two different models. They're very similar. Uh, one has more of like, you know, a, um, a bigger belly drop point, and then this one's more of like a leaf shape or a spear point. I love this blade shape. One of my all-time favorite blade shapes right here. It just winds up being one of the most versatile blade shapes you could use. Love the stone-washed and micro-milled titanium frame lock. You can see we have Elmex steel on the stone-washed blade. Look at this micro milling. It's done extremely well. Beautiful clip. The clip works great. Nice milling on the inside. Very smooth action. The chamfer around the edge right here allows you to get like just really good placement of the thumb when you pick up the knife. Your thumb just lands like right in that track, right to the pad, because the way the thumb studs are, your finger can push off of, you know, like the, the sides which makes for a great launch pad. Same thing with the reverse flick. Then you also have the flipper tab. They all work extremely well. The detent is very well tuned for this knife. Now, if I was gonna say some nitpicks, I wish there was a little more traction on the flipper tab, but it's not bad at all. Like it's definitely far from you know anything that would be considered a negative. You know, it just that's one thing I could point out. And then possibly a little access to the lock bar, but I'll tell you what, man, it's not uncomfortable uh but a little more access would have been nice but hey it's still good this is an awesome awesome knife awesome user and yeah they did a phenomenal job this feels like there's just some knives that have a very premium feel to them and in many cases above others and this one definitely has that now, this one I kind of expected to like because I, you know, everybody else was talking about how awesome it was. So, you know, I kind of already expected it to be really awesome and I was not disappointed at all. This is the Kanbu Padre. These are available right now. They have crossbar lock versions and frame lock versions like this. Now, as far as their crossbar locks, they do a great job with their crossbar locks. The ones I have do have a light detent, though. That's the one thing I can say is that they are a little spongy, a little soft. But, you know, not bad, just really soft as far as what I'm used to for crossbar locks. I'd like to see them tune that up just a little bit. But this guy right here has a crispy detent. So if you care about having a, a, a strong breaking detent in your action, you'll probably want the frame lock one. But either way though, if you're looking for lock strength and you're not worried about the other, then go for the crossbar lock. Um, we have a titanium frame lock, very well done, gymped titanium backspace. So this has a lot of grip to it. Titanium mill pocket clip, Timascus pivot collar on both sides. Love this diamond pattern that Kun Wu's known for. I have sharpened this baby up. Took a really, really good edge on its Elmax, or no, sorry, Vanax. Ooh, why did I say Elmax? On its Vanax blade, um, Vanax is one of the best steels on the planet for pocket knives. I've thought about potentially testing Vanex versus Magnacut. What do you guys think about that? I think I should test it? I might do that. But the knife overall though, very ergonomic. Like it, it feels very comfortable and very wieldable for such a large, thick knife. And you can choke up really nice tight to that edge. The pinch grips for utility cuts are very easy to get to. You know, if you're cutting sideways down a box or even down you know, the side of a box that way, it, it's just very comfortable no matter what. But yeah, phenomenal knife right here, the Kun Wu Padre. Can't recommend it enough. Don't worry guys, we will have some budget knives at the end. This is a Katsu knife. And I gotta say, there's a lot of things from Katsu that has surprised me. Katsu does amazing work. I'm gonna link everything from this video down in the description so you can find any of the sites and you know and see how the prices are and everything else. This is a very, 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 um, well, I'm gonna say affordable version of a Japanese influence knife. So it's a Japanese style design, meaning it's not made in Japan, it is made in China, but the designer is Japan and obviously his influences and in knife designs come from Japan. This is a real Japanese made knife and you can see the similarities. They have a lot of similarities. Now this is 
very expensive, this knife right here. Um, typically over $1,000 for a Rockstead. They are very, very, very smooth. They have this very glassy, smooth action. And the blade steel's in ZDP 189. He treated to like 67 HRC, which allows for this steel, whoo, to be, look at that, my skin is just coming off. This thing is so ridiculously sharp. And ZDP 189, when it's heat treated that high, it can hold an incredible edge. Well, this guy right here also has ZDP 189, San Mai, so it's the core of the steel is ZDP 189. He treated between 65 and 67 HRC, just like the Japanese made rock stud. Titanium frame lock, titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer, beautiful access to the lock bar and this thing is guillotine action the front flipper while i don't prefer this jimping it's very snappy very easy to use it just the the leverage point is just so good you don't even need jimping like it just doesn't matter because it, it is a great front flipper but man look at how smooth this thing is but yeah katsu they do amazing work. They do really, really good work. And something like this is going to be have very neutral ergonomics. So it doesn't matter what direction you are using it. You know, gas station knife fighting grip, re reverse grip, forward grip, you know, poking doesn't matter. Um, I do need to sharpen this one up, which I will be doing here pretty soon. But it does have a convex grind, just like... Um, a rock stud where the sides are not perfectly flat they actually convex and that makes for a very tough blade that also is good at specific tasks and can do certain things very 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 well the zdp 189 between 65 and 67 hrc basically makes this steel a super steel so originally zdp 189 would be like a mid-grade steel maybe even like a budget steel but when you turn it up to 65, 67 HRC, it's so hard. The edge retention goes through the roof. Rockstead has videos of them like cutting, you know, ropes, like thick ropes, like a thousand times and cutting newspaper still after a thousand cuts. So supposedly, you know, that's about the edge retention of ZDP 189 around 67 HRC is like a thousand uh, cuts of rope before it will stop cleanly cutting paper and that's cleanly that means it's still sharp so that's incredible so yeah katsu knives man they do a great job and like i said a lot of their knives are very much japanese design influence and you know japanese make a really cool design um in their knives they look really good the next one is the giant mouse tribeca specifically the titanium one this is one that just shocked me when i got it it feels so I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It doesn't quite feel like a giant mouse to me. The break of the detent is just so... Just listen to it. You can hear that lock engagement, even if it's going slow, and you can feel the blade sucking in to the lockup when it locks up nice lockup but that breaking detent man it just doesn't matter if it's a reverse flick thumb flick or flipper tab it just it's so snappy the flipper tab kind of reminds me of the sonoma in a way not completely but a little bit and this is another one man i think this is a gorgeous looking knife man the sonoma version two this contoured Beautiful brown micarta, some of my favorite micarta. Very comfortable in the hand. Great choco spot, beautiful drop point blade. Great access to the lock bar right there. And yeah, again, very snappy. Now it kind of feels the same as far as the flipper tab, but this just feels like it's like three times heavier. Um, and I mean that in a good way. Not that this has a light detent, because it doesn't. This one, in, at least on mine, just has such a crispy detent. Um, titanium. Titanium scales, steel liner lock, deep carry wire clip that is reversible, and the blade steel on this is Magna Cut Steel. Now, Giant Mouse, I think, 
was running there, 6162, if I remember correctly. So, you know, not horrifying, but it's definitely not optimal. I do, I like to see it at 63, 64. I think it's okay at 62, but I, like I said, I prefer it 63 to 64. That's when you just, you get the most out of that steel. The ergonomics on this thing is just so, so well done. But yeah, the, the, this was about the Tribeca, but really it doesn't matter here if this is your style this is also an amazing and amazing knife uh both of them and giant mouse does a really good job i i'm always excited to see what giant mouse has next in store so let's get to the next one the herman dragonfly listen to this thing I'll tell you what, there was, a, there's been a lot of Hermans that have shocked me when I've gotten them. And when I got this, you know, I had heard that this one was so, so good. And I was already in love with the Ishtar whoo, and the Slim. And then I got this one in hand and this detent, the action is just so, so perfect. Like, listen to this. The sound alone is just amazing. The detent is so heavy, it just, this thing kicks like a horse. Now this one in particular has M398 steel. I will link Polish custom knives down in the description. They have a ton of different versions of the Herman. I'll say, personally for me, if I was gonna recommend one from Herman, I would say you either got, get one of the three, the Ishtar, the Slim or the Dragonfly. Those, in my opinion, are the best. Um, I like the Sting. I know some people love the Sting because of the size, because it's more of a, a more compact knife, um, which I love the Sting, but not as much as the other ones. Um, no way, even though my Sting is a great example. Uh, very ergonomic, very slicey. These are hand sharpened on stones as, you know, super steel should be, but we don't quite see that very often unless it's from, you know, custom knives. Great access to the lock bar. This has a perfect titanium mill pocket. There's a pocket um, cut out underneath the clip so that it has more than enough room. And yeah, just, as smooth, as snappy, and as awesome as you could get a knife. They're not cheap. They're definitely not cheap, but there are so many flavors and options and patterns. Uh, they recently I started, I seen them doing this raindrop pattern that looks so amazing. Hopefully we'll get one of those on the channel at some point uh, because they have so many designs. Like, look at this, look at the pivot on this one. It's got a, a carbon fiber inlay. The, the accent, the accents, the accents of the knife are kind of blue and then the scales are like this, this uh, powdery green. Looks great though. Um, the bearings are multi-row ceramic bearings. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I think they changed them to multi-row um, carbide bearings, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyways, let's get to the next one. Last one before we get to some of the budget knives. This is the We Knife Co. Says It, and it's fairly new, but you just know sometimes, right? You get a knife in hand, and sometimes you just know. This is one of those moments when you pick it up, you flip it open, and you know right away. Not only is the action just phenomenal, but I already know because I have so many button locks from We Knife Co. that they just do an amazing job with their button locks. But the thinness of something that's this big, this is a large knife. This might even be considered like an XL knife. It's a large knife, but it is slim in the hand, yet broad enough to where it has very comfortable ergonomics, super slicey geometry. We have a dual ground spear pointish blade. I freaking love that. Then we have, I believe this is a polished DLC. I'm not 100%, but I think that's what it is. But you have this micro milling all over the handle it looks great there's multiple different color options like a lot of the knives you know there's going to be different versions different options different materials um 20 cv super steel and then we have a titanium button lock um well titanium scales with the carbon fiber inlays with a button lock locking system and yeah this is 
not only like just a fun knife and an amazing knife, this is a great user, man. This is one that you just, you feel like for a large knife, you have a ton of control over. And I like that. I like a knife, you know, when I have a large knife, I like it to feel wieldable. And this feels very wieldable for such a large, large knife. And man, this action just gets me every time with We Knife Coast button lock action. The clip, even though it's on this milled, uh, stuff, it is perfect. It literally slides in and out of the pocket just fine. No complaints at all. Great thumb studs. Love, love, love these types of thumb studs. Anyways, what a cool knife. The Wee Knife Co. says it. Like I said, man, you see that thing? The thing came. Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, this thing is so, so smooth. You click that button and look at that drop. It just wham. Wham. But yeah, the Wee Knife Co. says it. What an awesome knife. The Vosteed Hedgehog. This one absolutely surprised me when I got to check it out. Now the aluminum ones are sold out. That's what this one is. But there is, I believe, a micarta version available. S35 harpooned sheep's foot blade with the top liner lock, which is a compression lock with a button attached. Very, very snappy detent. Like, I gotta say, this locking system is it's perfect i love this locking system not only does it offer a super solid lock up and you know just overall lock strength but it's so fidget friendly like you can use it just like a button lock or like a frame lock or liner lock which i love the aluminum handles definitely increase the feel of the quality on this one i'm sure that my carta one still feels you know very very similar but very ergonomic. You can choke back, a um, little small on the hand right there, but I can get a lot of leverage because of the thickness and the width and everything. Deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws and reversible. And you know, just all in all, man, such a, a solid knife that feels like it wants to be used. Like, especially for like utility cuts and stuff. Um, if you like fidget factor, this is one to check it out. And if you appreciate crispy detents i have a couple of them and both of them feel identical so i imagine and i've heard a lot of other people check them out and everybody seems to say basically the same thing um yeah this is a banger from vosti now because that one's a little bit more pricier here is a real well a bit more affordable of a knife that's also still using the same locking system the top liner lock this is the raccoon top liner lock in micarta one of the best budget knives on the market right now. Like literally this thing, I, I should have added it into my video on um, best uh, blind buys or great blind buys, because this is definitely one you could blind buy. This is a great bang for your buck. I could have put it in that video too. It has a 14C 28N blade, very, very slicey, perfect sharpie tool and plunge grind love the top liner lock like i was saying before very strong locking system that allows you to get a nice crispy detent very very easy to manipulate deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws and reversible and yeah the ergos on this thing is just it's like i said it's set up for use this is a a great functioning tool as far as somebody that's just wanting to buy a knife that doesn't want to spend an arm and a leg but they want to make sure they're getting good quality for the money they're going to want you know good fit and finish good tolerances good action good materials this definitely checks all those boxes now this one wasn't even going to make it in the video but uh and so i guess it's just an addition but i just got this one and so i've had this model already and it was one that actually surprised me, especially um, the first one I tried, which was the, the liner lock version. Um, now I have the titanium frame lock version. I got crossbar lock versions. I got every version there is. But what I want to show you guys about this one is this micarta. Look at this micarta. The old micarta, the other micarta was a little different. This almost is like it's sanded down like really nicely. I like it. It feels a bit more dense and just a few, it feels <clears throat> a little bit more refined. For micarta, it just, it has like a, um, a really nice texture to it. 
nice feeling to it, nice and soft. Very, very ergonomic, this knife. This knife is, this knife's a user. It's absolutely a user. Great hole deployment. This is one you can easily manipulate with your thumb or, you know, your reverse flick. Beautiful drop point blade, 14C 28M blade steel. Uh, but there is, oh no, there isn't. I think that's all there is. I think there's only 14C versions. Titanium, oh no, no, sorry. There's the premium one in M390. Um, the titanium mill pocket clip, as you can see. And for the price, yeah, great price for these. Um, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. But the Moy Arl from Migron, the Migron Moy Arl. But this one is one I recently had in one of those videos and you know, because it is that awesome. So really, really cool knife. Now I know you see the stop pin is hitting behind the edge, but it is way far away. It is right there, which by the time you remove that much steel from this blade, it's not even gonna be the same blade anymore. So I think by then you would have gotten well worth way over your money's worth out of this knife. So the stop in placement, while I don't prefer it to be there, it's not gonna hurt anything in this case. I doubt we'll ever see somebody who's gonna sharpen it all the way out to when it will not um, close anymore. So um, yeah, hopefully companies start paying attention to that stop in placement. But anyways, there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough, until next time, peace.